News calling Ford's testimony a disaster for the Republicans. And not like one of those Puerto Rico disasters, you know, this time one they might actually care about. But then, then came Kavanaugh's testimony, and it is worth looking at it in detail tonight, because in every regard, it could not have been more different from Ford's. Uh, for starters, while she was remarkably composed in discussing traumatic details, Kavanaugh came straight out of the gate weird in his opening statement, not just denying all her allegations, but almost breaking down while attempting to paint a folksy image of his time in high school. I worked out with other guys at Toby's house. <laughs> he was the great quarterback on our football team. And his dad ran workouts. Yeah, he's crying at the memory of lifting weights at his friend Tobin's house. I hate to say it, but I'm starting to think that men might be too emotional for the Supreme Court. Also, 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 he'd be, he'd be, he'd be really pretty if he just smiled more. And, and, and it wasn't just memories of a high school quarterback that was making him tear up. I've always had a lot of close female friends. I remember talking almost every night, it seemed, to my friends Amy or Julie. Or Kristen, or Karen, or Suzanne, or Maura, or Megan, or Nikki. The list goes on. Okay. That's not testimony though, is it? That is a plaintive spoken word cover of Mambo number no. five. <laughs> I remember my friends Angela, Pamela, Sandra, and Rita. And as I continue, you know they're getting sweeter.